This is how the story goes. Whoa. Dragon Ball Dharma is good. By good I mean the wet dream you get at 3am when you bust a nut dreaming about having quotes with your stepsister. The animation and art style is great. I think it's up there with Shintani's art from Dragon Ball Super Broly. Breaking news, I just found out he was involved with Dragon Ball Dharma. Dragon Ball Super Broly? That was just some masculine men screaming to throw everyone in the cinema just moaned with the characters. We could immerse ourselves with the masculine energy radiating from the TV screen due to the big boy screaming. So I'm not here to simp over Dragon Ball Super Brody. So Drama, I think it's good. The animation and art style is really good. I like it more than Super's own art style. And I think it's probably one of the best art styles we've seen, especially before they were kids with more definition in their body, like the extra lines for muscle and stuff. It's super fluid as well. And 3D is used, but only when it's Shenron. I think it looks good. And this 3D compared to Blue Lock Season 2 3D, this is why I don't like 3D in anime. It looks bad a lot of times. They hit the jackpot with this one because they also had Dragon Ball Super Superhero that was an only 3D movie which looked like a high budget game cutscene. Except some parts like when Gohan transforms Super Saiyan the first time against that random guy when he asked for some extra sugar and then Gohan just went ballistic and <laughs> Most of the first episode was exposition for the new villains ma mainly, which I really like because that's how you flesh out new characters. This happens after the Boo Saga and before Dragon Ball Super. So Dragon Ball Daima is mainly building off from the Boo arc. It's a really smart way to do it by, by using the Boo arc to create new stuff like new villains and it's all related somehow. I think that's fun and it's fun to see the new characters being fleshed out instead of seeing the main cast as always. I think it looks great. Some parts in the episodes look amazing. Some people on Instagram threads. I absolutely hate Instagram threads and I should make a video ranting about it all on its own because the amount of degeneracy and rage bait or inter interaction bait, the, there's nothing normal on the app. I don't see anything that's normal. Every post is literally the same on the for you. I'm already going off, but the posts are the same. Anyway, someone said that, um, 90% of the first episode of Dragon Ball Daima, we see the new antagonist instead of seeing Goku and Vegeta or the main cast. That's actually loser mindset. Is this even Dragon Ball? Because there's barely any Goku in it. So, so the person said, is this even Dragon Ball? Because the entire first episode was exposition and a recap of the Boo arc. Yes, it was a slight recap of the Boo arc, but they used the recap to build upon the new characters. And that's a smart way of doing it instead of saying, oh, here's a new demon king, uh, here's a new bad guy, yeah, he's stronger than you, just go kill him. Like, it's different than just putting in a new villain and saying, oh, he's big and strong. Because, I'm sorry, I thought people wanted Dragon Ball to be more than just fighting random aliens or beings. But no, when they want to actually make a story, people complain about it. There's always this double standard bullshit. When they ask for something, they get it. But when they get it, they bitch about it all over again. So later on we learn about more powers that the Namekians can do. And there's an old Namekian and he had the power to call all the Chaos Emeralds to him. They were stone, so they were unusable. So we also had the technique where he could restore the balls quicker and then they rubbed the balls like a genie lamp and asked that the guys who fought Majin Buu turn into fourth or first graders. I can't remember really. Then Goku and Ko started to get small and there was also a Vegeta and Goku sparring session of little fight we saw which looked pretty good with the new animation and art style. The first episode ended then the second episode started and it started off with Shinran saying I've granted your wish. Goodbye, my Namekians. New enemies were like, what? I thought we got three wishes. 
and you only gave us one and big glow just hit him with the left and right and said no nah, i don't know you cur get out of my block this is my boy's town disappeared never to be seen again by the new enemies in fortnite terms he basically said you'll need a battle pass for real and even simpler terms only the regulars get three wishes which is why you only get one because i don't know you son and then when he went away the antagonist asked the namekian if he can restore the balls again but he said nope he can't do it twice in a row the episode just started with real shit almost as real as my friend who stopped me from having a wet dream inside the dream i think it's pretty good and i think it's gonna be good it's gonna be fun the funnest times for dragon ball for me to watch was when goku was a kid i enjoy kid goku almost more than adult goku because that's what makes it fun a lot of times like in dragon ball or dragon ball gt it's just goofing around a good old fun show so the anime opening started and it's good the first half is really ch childlike, which fits the scenario of the characters being changed into mini characters of themselves. Even Krillin said that they didn't really get younger, more so got smaller. Roshi and Krillin, they look the same. Hercule, he looks like a different boy. He ain't a champ anymore. Hey, beta bitch. But for some reason, the opening already sounds kind of nostalgic to me. It sounds like I've known this opening for years. I think it's just because they're kids again and it's giving me Dragon Ball vibes. So that could be the case. So we finally saw Corrin and Goku talk to each other again. And it's so wholesome to see because it's giving OG Dragon Ball feels. And I think nothing in Dragon Ball beats the fun feeling that Dragon Ball had, not in Z or Super. There were good parts obviously, but that didn't feel as fun as Dragon Ball to me, because Dragon Ball is just something of a masterpiece for me. So Goku got his power pole back from Master Roshi, and Roshi used it as a laundry dryer, which some people would get mad, like how can they take this legendary weapon and reduce it to a drying tool? when really it's just something master roshi would do some people would just overreact again per usual that's what a lot of people online do i guess get mad over anything and we get introduced to a new character called glorio but this entire episode was just fun to watch and i really enjoyed it i don't know why people thought it had to be super deep i think the storytelling is done really well but some people only don't like it because they're they are turned into kids i don't know why that's such a problem i think it's mostly just dragon ball gt haters and i'm a dragon ball gt fan because it's just unique on its own and that it's also another fun dragon ball series some people have a problem that they became kids like i saw moist critical having a problem with it you're entitled to your own opinion like being upset because they're kids before giving it an actual shot six episodes or something to be out i just think there's no reason to hate dragon ball daima yet because so far it's been pretty good i'm a dragon ball gt fan i'm a certified lover boy we don't want this crap we want dragon ball super continuation i'm not gonna watch this because they turn into kids that's how i think they sound like most of the time they just all sound like baby bitches because again they're complaining over nothing there's nothing bad about dragon ball daima yet dragon ball super continuation will come out sooner or later so there's no reason to hate on a studio just because you're an impatient son of a bitch. Like, read the manga or something. I'm just happy that we got some Dragon Ball content. We don't get anything else much than movies or sometimes a game. Sometimes when I'm on the internet and I read TikTok comments or whatever comments and I see all these stupid ass opinions and perspectives, I regularly forget that that's actual people well there's a chance that it's just bots for engagement purposes 
but a lot of time I forget that I'm in real life. It feels like the comments are fiction half the time. Referring to blind haters and IGN commenters, what the hell are they even? There's like 100 comments saying IGN reviewed she hulk as a 9 or 8 out of 10. Bro, just drop it. You're a grown man crying about a random person's review over something. Then they're usually like, oh look at your hair. Your hair look ugly. Look at your face. Ha ha ha. Yeah, you ugly ass bitch. The people are so boring and unoriginal. Oh, all of the IGN haters are the same. I don't know why even ranting about IGN haters right now. They are all essentially the same. The moment you tell them that their comment doesn't matter because they're just hating for the sake of hating, they're gonna be upset for some reason and call you a tampon using boy. There was this other bot, it had to be a bot. He kept on responding the same stuff. Did it hurt little boy? Did it hurt when you took it from the bot little boy? Like okay. I don't... I don't... I don't know why you're attacking me when I said that you're a grown man bitching about the most trivial things and, and now you're a 25 year old or something insulting a 19 year old kid. Well, not a kid, but you get what I mean. It's just so funny all the time. I don't get triggered. Like on my lunch lease video, people hated me for siding with lunch lease instead of siding on the Dan TDM side. And so people just hated on me because I gave my opinion. I make statements and I elaborate on them instead of just saying, ha ha, lunch lease bad. I don't know why I ranted that much about IGN. Can we talk about the dub versus sub situation? That should be a video on its own. There's so much to talk about when it comes to that and I ranted too much already. I don't think they are gonna fumble Dragon Ball Daima because it's Akira Toriyama's final work. They put everything on halt to make Daima the best it can be. There's no way they're gonna ruin Toriyama's final project. But I don't think it will be bad at all. Except the baby bitches crying about, Oh, they are kids. I can't sexualize them now. I'm kidding. Not everyone is like that who dislike the kid idea. I don't know if I'll make another video of Dragon Ball Daima soon unless something big happens or something bad happens like animation being fucked. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'll probably be back in when it, the 12th episode or something is out. I don't know how many episodes there's gonna be. And one final note, there's a lot of Dragon Ball Daima DLC coming out. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 got Daima DLC. Dragon Ball Kakarot, which released 5-6 years ago, is getting a DLC. Sparking Zero is gonna get more Daima DLC. And they are going all out for this shit and i'm so hyped for it unfortunately i'm a broke boy and i can't buy it so i beg of you leave a like and subscribe i appreciate the subscribe